Okay, so this is example 3b. We're going to find the coefficient of the x cubed y term in the expansion of 2x minus y to the power 4. So we've already had a look at example a, where there was just an x and a y term in the bracket, so we didn't have to do too much uh, to solve the problem. But this time we have uh, a slightly more complicated term. We've got 2x and we've got a negative y in there. So we want to find just one term, so we're not going to use the binary way theorem to expand every term in it. That would be a waste of energy. So what we want to do is to think about what the uh, general term or the r plus 1 term formula is again. So we've got n choose r times x to the power n minus r times y to the power r. And just like in every case, we can substitute in the particular values that we have for this problem. We have n taking the value 4. So we've got 4 choose r. The first term in the bracket is 2x. So therefore, we have to put 2x here to the power 4 minus r. Remember to put the 2x in the bracket. And our second term is negative y to the power r. We still want to break away these two terms here. We want to break the letters from the numbers. So we can do that by writing down 2x to the power of 4 minus r as 2 to the power of 4 minus r multiplied by x to the power of 4 minus r. So we're separating the multiplier, the numerator, from the variable. And we can do the same in the second bracket, remembering that this negative y actually means negative 1y. So in that case, we can put negative 1 to the power r and y to the power r. We don't really need a bracket there. Okay, so we have split up the number terms from the letter terms, and we can actually group all of the number terms at the beginning. That's just good housekeeping. We have there, the entire expression there is our, is our number multiplier or coefficient for any of the terms. What have we got left at the end? We'll get x to the power 4 minus r times y to the r. So that's the shape of our actual x, y term. What do we want? Well, we want uh, x cubed, back up in the original question, x cubed y. Okay, I'll write it at the side here, x cubed y, in other words, y to the power 1. So by comparing the two forms here, we can see that we want y to the r is going to be 1. So if we want the x cubed y term, we want r to be 1. So write that down for x cubed y term by inspection, r equals 1. And we can check that with the x term, 4 minus 1 is 3, and yet that's the x cubed term. So for the x cubed y term, r is 1, which means that if we go back into our general term, r plus 1 is 2. So in actual fact, we're dealing with the second term in our expansion. We don't need to know that it's the second term, but it, we might as well. It's a little bit of extra information. So the second term is going to be 4 choose 1 times 2 to the power of 4 minus 1, which is 3, times negative 1 to the power 1. And substituting r into our x and y terms, we do get the desired x cubed y, which means that the last thing we have to do is to calculate the value of the coefficient. 4 choose 1 is 4, multiplied by 2 cubed is 8, multiplied by negative 1 to the power 1 is just negative 1, which means that 4 times 8 times negative 1 is negative 32. Well, we've still got our x cubed y. Okay, so the second term, if we were to expand it all out, the second term would be negative 32 x cubed y. But the question did say find the coefficient. It didn't say find the whole term. So we can actually write that down, coefficient of x cubed y term is negative 
32. Underline it with a flourish. Is your answer. Okay, we're going to take that on in the next example to what happens when the two terms in the bracket are two uh, terms are both x terms are both of the same letter because there's a slightly different technique involved in that but for the moment you can practice examples that have uh, these kind of um, terms in the bracket.